welcome to our next lesson still on graphical method form 3 okay what did we learn the previous lesson given an equation you either multiply or divide by repeated factor so each term is multiplied or you choose to divide by a repeated factor to convert it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Today we are going to have an extension. We have now an equation in the form of i is equal to kx to power n. i is equal to kx to power n. This. And this is not linear. When you plot it, it cannot give you a straight line. Okay? So we want to modify it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. That is in the form of a straight line. So we want to move from here to here. I've just captured this to remind you in case you missed lesson one. This is what we did, and this is what we did in our lesson one. Today I have added another aspect. We shall multiply both sides by log. Okay, so when you are given it in this form, you multiply it by log especially when they are exponential when they have powers you tend to multiply by log so they are very easy to interpret there are those which are direct in the form of y is equal to mx plus c so you you only identify what goes on the y-axis what goes on the x-axis there are others which tend to have three terms three times one, two, three, but in them there is a repeated factor. I handled that in my previous lesson. Part three is when you have in exponential form an equation which has that. Please don't confuse, there are others which if I'm given y is equal to, to some equation there and they have powers, you don't need to convert. Why? If they are already in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, you don't need, you don't need to convert. Eh? So please check so that you don't confuse issues. The ones we are converting in the previous lesson there was a repeated factor so how to eliminate that repeated factor today exponential you multiply both sides by log after that you come to number two correct interpretation now you after you've gotten it in the form of y is equal to uh, some two terms those are to be rewritten they have to be rewritten after you have gone through the processes you have to rewrite it to conform so i've given here an example which we are going to look i'll be changing the camera once in a while i think at that position it can do me some good so example is this this is what we are given i is equal to kx to power n so this has to be converted. We have to modify it to be in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Now note, I can't see any repeated term. So I cannot apply multiplication or division by a repeated factor. Get it? It does not have repeated factor. So I don't use that clue number one. Now I go to multiplication of both sides by log so here i've done it 
log of i is equal to log of k times v to power n. This is a product, remember, laws of logarithm. Log a b is equal to, we capture it here, log a b. This is a product, so you say log a plus log b. Remember that? That's what we did. So you must know that whatever we are taught, always something will be added on top. It's a building. So we have the first course. You put bricks on the next. So if the first course is not well done, if that level is not well done, it creates problem. Okay? But let us remember, when you have a product, this, you can separate by addition. So I have log k plus, not times, plus log v to power n. That is this step. Okay? Now, I maintain here, you can't simplify further. Here, you can't. But v to power n, if you have log 10 to power 2, it can be written as 2 log 10. That's what has been applied here. Okay? Log 10 to power 2 is 2 log 10. That is here. So once you reach here, remember, rewrite the equation to resemble y is equal to mx plus c. And remember, after equal sign, we said there will always be a product somewhere. Always there will be a product, mx. Even if there were two products, and in some cases it does, how do you tell what comes after equal sign? Do you remember? I told you, if there are two products, I should be able to tell which one comes first. How? It must have a variable that is to be plotted on the x-axis. That will always be captured from the table quantities. The quantities that you are given in the table, it must appear somewhere. Okay? Are we together? In the previous lesson, we even created another rule. So basically, you are trying to get that table in a graph form. That should guide you if there are two products, which one comes first? The one which has plottable variable. We go back. We go back here. Focus now down. I focus there first. Yeah. So log i is equal to log k plus n log v. I can see in the table there is v. So it has to come here now. Log i is equal to n log v plus log k. So you compare. This will go to y axis. Log v goes to x axis. And therefore, the interpretation of n is gradient. So anytime you ask what is the value of n, you just get the gradient of that graph, and it gives you that. Then we come to log k is c, where it cuts, where it cuts the y-axis that is c. Look at this. So I have here log v. And here we have said log i. So let us uh, assume our graph is like that. And it cuts here, which is 1.5. 1.5. Okay. So what will I say? I will just write log c is equal to log k c 
c is equal to log k so my c that is where it cuts the y axis is 1.5 is equal to log k so k is inverse you anti log k is anti log of 1.5 k is anti log of 1.5 okay so let us see what modification goes we focus there here so an example our table has values of v and i you are given there are many i've just sorted two to just show you and your equation requires log i and log v so what do you do we have to put here log i and i have to put up there also i have to have log v so you just use calculator i use my calculator to get log i log of 281.8 so i come to here log put it on log and then we have 281.8 it gives you okay it gives you it gives you so i write 2.4 5 because if I use the four figures it reduces 9 changes 9 to 10 10 changes 4 to 5 so I have it there I have it I have known this I put it 2.45 so 2.45 then I come there what is log of 5 01.2 I say is equal to I get it there okay so I get that 2.7 and you do that up to the end now I come here I also have to get log V's this is V I have to get log I come here log 11 point two is equal to you get there one point zero four nine two so you write it here I can write it here uh, one point zero four nine two or just four significant figures I'm okay then lastly log 14.1 log 14.1 what are we getting can you check we are getting 1.1492 again i can maintain four figures so learn how to move from linear nonlinear to linear this is nonlinear to linear multiply both sides by law remember the laws of logarithm when there is a product we add then when you have a figure with the power the power can come down then rewrite it so that it is in the form of y is equal to m x plus c then when you go to your graph work n will be answered by gradient then where it cuts the y axis if it is 1.5 from c is from c is equal to log k i put 1.5 which i have read is equal to log k so you can get the value of k by anti log and those provisions are both in the table and in the calculator.
those who do not have calculator you just have to write this in standard form okay 2.818 times 10 to power 2 so where we have log we write 2 point and then you read 501.2 in standard form 5.012 times 10 to power 2 when you go to the side of log you start with that power 2 2 point then you read the rest in the table and so on next time I'm going to deal with what happens if in getting logarithm of the numbers given you have a bar okay when you have a bar you must know how to interpret so my next lesson we shall do that keep on subscribing you get this we move together you never know when this will end you may come and you are told the exam is next week my friend when you have prepared you have no problem if you are not prepared you'll be half dead and corona can finish us easily bye bye